today we will be testing the ramp m a indicator but before we do if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that you need to go do that now here at the academy of forex we are building the best trading system possible as a team there is also a link down below to sign up for trading view you can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account you can also find a link below to join us on discord lastly if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel you can sign up for our nine dollar patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators we also would like to introduce our patreon exclusive discord channel as a nine dollar patreon you will be invited to join an exclusive discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the mt platform give you winning strategies post trade ideas give advanced advice and much more so click the link below to join our patreon all right like i said today we will be testing the ramp m a indicator before we do i wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see so to date we have tested a total of 64 different strategies with 16 of them being profitable we've also tested a total of 838 indicators with 343 of them being winners the best ones so far were able to achieve a 100 percent win rate now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that so go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. We've also retested in the advanced testing 44 of the winning indicators. 13 of them have been able to maintain the winning status. The best one, a 76% win rate. Now keep in mind that we test most of the strategies and indicators on the Forex and crypto market, but they can be applied to just about any market and time frame universally. All right, so today we are testing the ramp m a indicator and you can see it here on screen and so the setup on this is uh, uh pretty easy to understand so we basically we have uh the main moving average line here uh and you can see well it's kind of hard to see but it switches colors uh from blue to a maroon um style color uh, but we're not going to pay much attention to that in this particular testing uh, you can also see that we have these green lines here and red lines there uh, similar to kind of like a super trend type setup almost and uh, then we have a really really fast moving aver average is kind of riding along with price action uh, again we're not going to pay much attention to that really uh, that very quick fast moving average there what we're really looking for is the slower moving average and the red and green uh, kind of super trend looking style lines and so the setup on this is um, when we um, a either get a break of the slow moving average and we have the green line below uh, so a break above the slow moving average and a green line below that's going to be a signal to go long uh, if we get a break in the green line and then a continuation of the green line, it's going to be a continuation signal to uh, also go long. On the, uh, on the reverse side, the downside, when we get a break of uh, price action breaks below the slow moving average and we have a red super trend looking uh, style line, uh, then we are going to go short and if we get a break in that red line and then a continuation picks back up uh, then that is going to be a signal to then again continuation to go short so that's what we're looking for let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this one
All right, so the first signal they pick up is going to be a short signal right here. We get that break below the slow moving average, and we have the red line displayed right there. If we hover over this candle here and we look at our coordinates over here, you can see that if I hover over the candle next to it, um, the red line isn't there, the red coordinate isn't there. We have the zero zero coordinate, uh, but that's always there. What we're looking for specifically is the red coordinate there to pop up um, right here. Instead of a green one, it'll be a red one. So there, there is no coordinate there. There's no red coordinate. See if I mouse over a green when it has the green super trend looking uh, kind of line there, the uh, green letters or a uh, green number show up. When I mouse over this one right here, you can see that that red numbers then show up there. So we know that uh, that was present right there. And so that would be our short and immediately we get a spike to the upside. Looks like that's going to come up and stop us out. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. All right, so we have that uh, break to the downside and we are below the slow moving average at this point. We didn't get the red line, red super trend when we got the break, but we picked it up right here. So that's gonna be our next signal right there, a short signal. Looks like we're gonna get a really heavy pullback to the upside though. And yep, it comes up just enough to stop us out, unfortunately, before it then rolls over and starts to head to the downside where we uh, was hoping it was gonna go. Let's go ahead and continue on. All right, so we pick up another uh, short signal, actually right here on this one. And again, we get a nasty spike to the upside almost immediately, which is going to stop us out once again. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and fast forward through the rest of the testing that we think don't get too long, and we'll pick this up when we are at the end of the year. All right, so that's going to put us at the end of the year right there. Before we take a look at what this is able to achieve, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our Discord server. So this is our Discord server here. It is free to join. Most of the channels here are free. You're welcome to join and take part in the conversations of most of these channels here, but we do have a Patreon only channel set up just for our patrons to take advantage of some great advanced information. Uh, for example, Sasquatch here is an amazing Forex prop trader, putting up charts like this on a regular basis, where he's marked out areas of support and resistance, areas of interest. Um, the uh, charts here, he will also mark out uh, sometimes where he's looking to take a trade. And so he will uh, mark out like his uh, entry, his stop, his take profit. He also likes to draw uh, channels and just different patterns uh, candlestick patterns and stuff like that, uh, wedges and such, uh, just kind of demonstrating where you should be mindful of price action, where it's going, support and resistance and stuff like that. A lot of great information from Sasquatch, a very, very knowledgeable trader. Uh, we have some of our other members here, like Lion Trader here is an awesome trader as well, posting up charts on a regular basis of indicators and trades that he's taken and so on, uh, just all in all really really cool stuff i guess i should say they and not assume gender uh quitty here also a uh, really really uh knowledgeable trader posting charts like this on a regular basis as well and all in all just uh, generally everybody is very knowledgeable helping everybody out we have one of our uh, newest admins mike from upright trading here he goes out of his way to help people out with indicators. He's developed quite a few indicators himself. Some are paid, some are free. All of them are really cool indicators. He's constantly developing them, upgrading them, uh, tweaking them, and improving upon them as he goes. But he uh, will often put up videos or uh, just explain how the indicators can be used, strategies, and such that he's developed around those indicators. So. Uh, like I said, all in all, it's a great, wonderful environment. Everybody's helping everybody out. Everybody's helping everybody grow as traders and become uh, better and more knowledgeable. I highly recommend that you join us. All right, so let's go ahead and scroll back here and take a look at this, get it in focus. All right, let's go ahead and count it out and see what we have. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So we have 19 
uh, trades all together. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight winning trades. And so that's not going to meet the 60% criteria that we are looking for. Uh, this one definitely gave it its best shot. Uh, it's kind of centered around uh, moving averages in general. I'm not really sure exactly how the uh, kind of super trend looking uh, line is calculated, but uh, historically, I've had issues with moving averages just kind of in general. Um, I don't really use them in my personal trading at all, um, just uh, because they always seem to want to find the center point um, instead of um, kind of framing price action in a way that um, allows you to use like support and resistance or um, kind of um, areas of um, range and such. Uh, it takes a little bit to explain, but nonetheless, um, it tried, wasn't quite able to get to our 60% criteria. And so, uh, doesn't mean it's a bad indicator. You might want to play around with it in your spare time, see if uh, can add some other components to it uh, that might help it out. Some of these uh, changing in these uh, moving average line colors or something like that might give it a, an advantage that uh, could help it. Not really sure, but for now, it's going to go on the no list and we will move on to the next indicator from here.